Hello, my name is Ken Strobeck and I'm the Executive Director of the League of Arizona Cities and Towns. First of all, I really am honored by uh, AZSAE uh, in, in receiving this award this year. I know that, uh, uh, that there are many, many association executives across the state and, and every one of them does tremendous work and uh, to, to be singled out this year uh, is really special and I'm very, very grateful for, uh, for the uh, society doing that uh, this year and, and uh, just want to thank everyone. And, and uh, particularly the uh, selection committee. Uh, so AZSAE is a great organization. I have enjoyed being a part of it. There's times of the year when I can't be nearly as involved as I am at other times uh, simply because of the, the pressure of the legislative session and the workload that uh, we have here at the League. Uh, the League of Arizona Cities and Towns is a, a trade association of uh, all 91 incorporated cities and towns in the state of Arizona. We have 100% of the, all the cities and towns as our members, so we're very proud of that. Uh, everybody from uh, Phoenix, uh, over a million and a half, down to uh, Winkleman and Jerome with around 400 or 500 population, they all are members of the League. And our mission is to represent the interests of cities and towns uh, at the legislature with the executive branch and to provide services to those cities uh, for the mayors, for council members, for staff uh, in terms of doing research, doing model ordinances, working on various challenges they may have with uh, state agencies uh, and just serving as a resource for them doing trainings and conferences. The mayors in Arizona are a wonderful group of people. They are really strong in that uh, we have some great resources in this state and uh, I've worked in other states and I've also uh, traveled quite a lot and seen how other states operate with their municipal governments and I think that uh, the city people in Arizona are really head and shoulders above most of the rest of the country. Uh, so they're very creative and energetic and I really do believe as, as this new book has been published called The Municipal Revolution that cities and towns are where the action is in terms of getting things done and the level of government that actually works. Um, uh, my, my group here at the League is also fantastic. I've got a fabulous staff. We have uh, a small staff. There's 14 uh, full-time people and um, the League in its 75-year history I don't think has ever been more effective at delivering service to our member cities and towns than we are now. So uh, again, I want to thank uh, AZSAE uh, for this honor and uh, uh, you have my, uh, my great appreciation. Thank you. I'm Marie Lopez Rogers. I'm the mayor of the city of Avondale, Arizona, and immediate past president for National League of Cities. And we are so proud of Ken. He has been with the league for eight years. It's the first time the league president or league executive director has uh, gotten this wonderful award. So we are so proud of him and glad that he. Uh, and congratulations, Ken. Uh, Renee Guillen, Legislative Director for the League of Arizona Cities and Towns. I've been with the League since December of 2010 and uh, had the pleasure of having Ken Strobeck be my Executive Director for my entire uh, duration here. I think that I appreciate most the fact that um, Ken, you know, gives me the independence to be the Legislative Director and to uh, really guide our legislative program on the day-to-day -day operations, but he's not so hands-off to where if I may be going astray or if I have questions and I need someone uh, to discuss something with, he's always available. Uh, he's always uh, sort of just a, a phone call or a walk away to make sure we are on the right path and we are doing what's best for the organization. So it's that, that it's, I think it's difficult to find that right thin line of how much supervision is the best supervision. And I think Ken has really demonstrated that. My name is Tom Belshi. I'm the Deputy Director of the League of Arizona Cities and Towns. Uh, and uh, I've been here for uh, about 15 years, uh, two different uh, uh, service times here, five years, and then I worked for the Arizona Department of Commerce, and then I've been back here at the League for almost 10 years now, and uh, um, started working with Ken uh, uh, eight years ago and have had the opportunity to work with him very closely. Uh, he appointed me as Deputy Director of the League, and uh, I feel like we make a really good team. Uh, We've been working, um, and he, the, the thing that I appreciate about him is the autonomy that he gives us uh, as managers and directors of the league to do the things that we need to do, but yet is always available for us to come and uh, get his help or his advice on, on issues that we deal with. Um, being a small organization is very important to have that kind of autonomy, uh, to be able to be efficient and effective, uh, to be able to cover all the things that we need to do, and uh, we all the managers really appreciate the, about, that about him. When I think of Ken, some of the attributes that come to my mind, knowledgeable, dedicated, persistent, respectful, 
and savvy. And I could go into great details on any of those five, but that's what comes to my mind. And you wrap around that someone who is completely full of integrity and displays it in all that he does. And therefore, he is one of our great leaders for our 91 cities at work.